Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. The man in charge of the programming tonight here on TCM is writer, director, and funny man David Steinberg. He's our guest programmer this month and selected all the films we have in our lineup. Welcome back, David. Hi, Robert. How good, are you? Good lineup it is. Oh, I'm thank very you. fine. Thank you. Thank you. The next film David has chosen is a musical comedy from director George Stevens, starring probably, without a doubt, the best dance team we've ever had in the movies, Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. The movie is Swing Time from 1936. Why do you think this stands out so much from, say, any of the other nine films that Fred and Ginger made together? Well, you know, having spent a lot of my career directing television, I know the value of a director. George Stevens, uh, as you know, a remarkable director, mm -hmm. was the director of this movie. Uh -huh. And it, it does have a texture and a feeling, and it moves in a way that none of the others the, I love all the musical. Fred Astaire, Ginger Rogers movies are all great to me. Swing Time is very special. <clears throat> it, um, it starts off with Fred Astaire coming off stage after a dance number right. that you don't see. You don't see the number. Right. right. And you know why you don't see the number. It wasn't good enough, and they cut it. Right. So, but how strange to have a musical with Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers or Fred by himself Yes. Open with the musical number and you don't see it. Exactly. 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 So for the first almost 25 minutes of this movie, it is more plot than you've ever seen right. in a Fred Astaire, Ginger Rogers movie. It's still fun to watch, but the moment they meet Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers, it's pick yourself up, brush yourself off, start all over again. She's a dancing teacher. He claims he doesn't know how to dance and she's about to get fired because she's not doing a good job at teaching him because he just wants to be around her. And then they have to show how well he's learning with two, two seconds right. or three seconds. He's just and it's done. one of their best numbers. And it's a great Fabulous number. number yeah, yeah, it's a great number. The, the, the choreography in this, the dancing, and the structure, the, the way in which the comedy and the music sort of intertwine is just, uh, just wonderful. Yeah. Uh, the one thing about the Fred and Ginger movies are most of them aren't that heavy on the music. Uh, yes. Most of them have a nice, or uh, more of the comedy. Yeah. Have this wonderful comedy sense to them and, and funny business and all that with these dynamite numbers every occasionally coming along. Yeah, th th this, from that point on, the music comes in all the way through it at just, at just the right point. Uh, you have Jerome Kern and Dorothy Fields. Yeah, you can't, can't get, do better. Can't do better no. than them. They're they're legendary and they're the best. You have the way you look tonight, uh, a fine romance with no kisses, but uh, the the love interest is connect is connected to the dancing, which is so ephemeral. In mm -hmm. a way. So you don't have to see you you don't see Fred Astaire and Ginger Roger kissing much. Fred Astaire never liked to kiss much. His wife didn't like him His to wife, kiss him. Yes, I yes. heard that. Too. I read that. But they, in the dance, it's a courtship almost every time mm -hmm. you see them together. And the choreography by Hermes Pan is remarkable. Th this is almost a flawless movie yeah. if you like musicals. Yes. Well, let's see the film. Here it is, really wonderful. Featuring the song, The Way You Look Tonight, written by Jerome Kern and Dorothy Fields, which indeed won them an Academy Award for best song. Here's swing time.